Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is Morning Prayer for Wednesday, August 24th. It's the 14th week after Pentecost and week one in our psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 119, verses 1 to 24. And John chapter 7, verse 1 to 13. And now please join me in singing verse 7 of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts to the tune of New Britain. God, you have proved our suffering souls to make our graces shine. So silver bears the burning coals, the metal to refine. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Hallelujah, blessed are the undefiled who walk in the way of the Most High. Hallelujah, Psalm 119. And please recite it with me. Hallelujah, blessed are the undefiled who walk in the way of the Most High. Blessed are they that keep your decrees and seek you with their whole heart. They do no evil, but walk in your ways. <clears throat> you have laid down your precepts to be followed diligently. Oh, that my steps were firm in the way of your statutes, then I shall not be ashamed when I heed your commandments. I praise you with an upright heart as I learn your righteous judgments. I will keep your statutes. <clears throat> Do not forsake me. How long shall the young remain sinless? By taking heed of your word. With my whole heart I sought you. Oh, let me not wander from your commands. Your word I have hid in my heart, that I might not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Most High, teach me your statutes. With my lips have I declared all the judgments of your mouth. I have rejoiced to do your will, as if all riches were mine. I will meditate in your precepts and have respect for your ways. I will delight myself in your statutes. I will not forget your word. Be gracious with me, that I may live and keep your word. Open my eyes, that I may behold the wonders of your law. I am a stranger in the earth. Do not hide your commands from me. My soul breaks longing for your judgments. You have rebuked the proud who stray from your commands. Remove from me reproach and contempt, <clears throat> for I have kept your decrees. Rulers plot against me, but I meditate in your statutes. Your will is my delight, and your laws are my counselors. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed are the undefiled who walk in the way of the Most High. Hallelujah. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 7, beginning at verse 1. After this, Jesus went about in Galilee. He did not wish to go about in Judea, because the Jews were looking for an opportunity to kill him. Now the Jewish festival of booths was near, and so his brothers said to him, Leave here, and go to Judea, so that your disciples also may see the works you are doing. For no one who wants to be widely known acts in secret. If you do these things, show yourself to the world. For not even his brothers believed in him. And Jesus said to them, My time has not yet come, but your time is always here. The world cannot hate you, but it hates me because I testify against it that its works are evil. Go to the festival yourselves, I am not going, for my time has not yet fully come. And after saying this, he remained in Galilee. But after his brothers had gone to the festival, then Jesus also went, not publicly, 
but as it were in secret. The Jews were looking for him at the festival and saying, Where is he? And there was considerable complaining about him among the crowds. While some were saying he is a good man, others were saying, No, he is deceiving the crowd. Yet no one would speak openly about him for fear of the Jews. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions, and please say the response after each verse. Defend us, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning. You are our refuge in times of trouble. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and plenteous redemption. Every day we bless you. We praise your name forever and ever, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O God, the author of peace and the lover of concord, to know you is eternal life, and to serve you is perfect, perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of the adversaries. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.